We would like to bring to your attention uh, that Parliament recently enacted the Land Value Index uh, through the Land Value Amendment Act 2019 that provides for the assessment on Land Value Index in respect of compulsory acquisition. The Act is to take effect from the 19th of August 2019, that's last month. ISK uh, participated uh, through the process of enactment of the Act, uh, through submission of memoranda to both houses of Parliament. But unfortunately, some of the issues that we raised were not taken into consideration. And now we have an Act that we feel would not serve the Kenyan public and needs to be looked at before it's fully implemented. The Act would infringe on Article 40 of the Constitution that stipulates prompt payment of full compensation for property compulsory acquired. There are provisions of the Act that require urgent attention, and in our view, these are Section 107A, which is the evaluation of freehold land and community land shall be based on the land value index to be developed by the CS lands. The CS lands is to submit this index to the National Assembly and the Senate. In our view, it is impractical uh, to have land values subjected to legislative processes as land markets operate on the basis of demand and supply. We would therefore request we would, that this provision be amended to provide that the CS will only publish the indices based on the transactions as recorded by the ministry during transfers. The basis of compensation should be market value. The Act prescribes that land value index will be the basis on which uh, the value for compensation would be applied. Land value index can only be a guide to interpret trends in the market and cannot be used as a basis to pay owners of compulsory acquired land. The, the index would be useful in determining the two-year period that would be applied before in determining the value to be compensated to the landowner. Prompt payment of compensation. Amendment of Section 124 of the Act allows the Commission to take possession of land before payment of compensation. The, the Act goes ahead that the Commission can pay within one year after taking compensation, after taking uh, possession of the property. Acquisition of land deprives the owner of the benefit of using the land and should be paid on taking possession. More so, government projects are budgeted and so compensation should not be an issue. It should be as soon as the value has been determined and the award offered and the owner has accepted, payment should be made. The Land Acquisition Tribunal is not representative of the land sector professionals. The Part 8 of the Act provides only three persons to sit in the tribunal to hear appeals on awards made by the Commission. There is no provision for qualification of members of the tribunal, and it is our opinion that the members of this tribunal should be valuers and professionals in the land sector. The tribunal as currently constituted will be ineffective and a wastage of public resource because of lack of professionals in the sector. The Act goes ahead to prescribe the creation of an index within six months. 
That is six months from August this year. The development of a nationwide index requires time and resources as our country is vast with uh, different value variation. More so, even after collecting the data, the valuers are expected to verify those figures before they are adopted into the index. It is therefore impractical to expect that the CS would be ready with an index within six months. Our proposal is more time needs to be granted to the CS to develop the index, to get the necessary budgetary allocation to develop the index. As we have mentioned earlier, the index should be independent of legislative control as it only gives the country indication of movement in values. Lastly, the index should be published regularly to ensure that all stakeholders are aware of the movement of values that will be used for the basis of compensation. Land values are dynamic and not static. The Index as developed relies on transactions recorded, which can only inform of the past trends. So regular updates of indices would only would be useful to ensure that at the time of compensation, we are able to see the trends. <coughs> Finally, we wish we wish to state that the Act as currently uh, as currently. Uh, enacted contravenes the provisions of the Constitution on the prompt compensation on compulsory required land, and it therefore does not provide protection of rights of landowners and the community interest at the point of acquisition. We recommend that the implementation of the Act be suspended until these necessary amendments are looked at to ensure they are aligned with the provision of the Constitution and the best practice in evaluation and compensation for compulsory acquisition. Thank you.